What's up, everyone? Hey, 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 it's Lane Booth. I am your dashboard guru when it comes to knowing the business, knowing the numbers that grow your business. I'm excited to be sharing a little bit of behind the scenes action with the lovely Eileen Wilder here today, who has taken the step into integrating dashboards into her business as well, and is going to share some of the insights that might surprise you along the way. So Eileen, how about you go ahead and introduce yourself to those tuning in today? Yes. What's up, guys? My name is Eileen Wilder. I'm here in Houston, Texas, and we help people with six and seven figure days doing master classes and virtual events. So we focus on speaking and selling from stage. And I had no idea what a dashboard was, but now I'm a super fan and recommend them to everyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so um, Eileen, let's go ahead and dive right in. Like, how I'm curious, like, how are you, how would you mm. tell other people maybe that you were looking at the data in yep. your business prior to, you yeah. know, actually getting it in a dashboard? So cool. So we um, are a multi seven figure business. So I personally have a team and don't, I didn't, I think the easy, here's the answer is I did not know. So <laughs> I didn't know what data was being looked at, how it was being tracked or who was really in charge of that. And I think that's a big struggle that a lot of us as entrepreneurs, like we were out there, you know, serving people and helping customers and clients, but not really looking at the numbers as well as we could. And something you taught me, Lane, was like the numbers are telling a story and not to be afraid of the numbers. I think that was a big fear of mine is like, I don't know how, what I, what numbers should I be looking at and how, and how often I should be looking at them and what's that really mean or how can that really help my business, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, the answer is, I have no idea what data <laughs> you're looking at or supposed to be looking at. Well, <laughs> and I'll just give you props too. Like you'll, I, I heard you say this before, like I had no idea. But then when we started like even going through the onboarding, it was like, you knew some, some critical Did I? Okay, KPIs. good. Well, you think so? Okay. <laughs> you just didn't know what they were maybe like last week and last month and yes. like before that yes. and how you yes. could. <laughs> yes. Great point. Yeah. Great point. And, and yeah. a, a big thing for me, Lane, was because I have a team yeah, I will dive into this in a little bit, but I really was trying to find like, how can I use the dashboard to keep our company like motivated, excited, you know, looking forward to the future. So that was a huge thing I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that part of our conversation too, because um, that for me is like kind of a, a, a trigger word. Like if you have team and you don't have really good data management systems in place, then just to me, that's immediate like red flag. Hey, there is so much opportunity on the table right mm -hmm. now. Let's have a timeout yes. and make sure yes. we're not like literally dripping cash off the table. <laughs> yeah. Yes, hundred percent. And I and I don't know if those of you watching maybe who are maybe more like me, which is I'm just very sales focused, very like client acquisition, client delivery, and then operations. I don't know as much about operations. So this really helped our whole team dial in. Uh, what what's actually happening in our business? <laughs> yeah, so let's let's maybe go down that path a little bit, yeah. Eileen. Like, why? Like, how did you have a even an instinct that hey, this would be helpful to the team? Like, had they yeah. said anything to you before, mm. or were you noticing anything? Well, I think as an entrepreneurs, we know we should be mm. tracking and looking at our numbers, but it's confusing how to do that and how to do that in a way that would be exciting i mean I, I it could just be me see you have a gift of spreadsheets i don't have the same gift and it can be very overwhelming um just tracking and look at, at data so for me i was like i think it would be really good for us to get a dashboard because it'll help our me and help our team get organized and it'll help keep my team motivated on their specific um mm -hmm. things that they're over yeah so yeah I mean, yeah their results areas mm -hmm. essentially yeah. right yeah. Um, so, so powerful because that is one of the things that I do see with teams. A lot of times people get brought on as a social media manager or get brought on as a yes. content creator or get brought on as an MC, you know, yeah. in the speaking world, but then it's not very clear to them. Like, how do I know if I'm winning? Like, how's Eileen yes. going to be like, you did the best. Great job. <laughs> yeah. I think another, there were a couple things. I remember some conversations by, um, by a pool one day that you and I were having and you were talking to me, you're like, Eileen, once people start can, can look at their dashboards, they can also see if their team members are hitting their metrics. And you said many times you see key me team members who like are not hitting their metrics, but the business owner doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of like, I could see the ROI when you were explaining it to me of 
yeah, like of having a dashboard. It's almost like a pilot flying a plane and looking at all the, the instruments. correct measurements. Yeah, like are we doing the right thing? Are we going the right way? Like and and um, so yeah, you the way you explained it to me just like immediately helped me see the ROI of just having a clean dashboard to look at what's happening and who's getting results for the company. Yeah, it's such a great analogy too, because like you as the visionary, you're like, hey, we're taking this plane, we're going to California. And the team's like, okay. I'm now going to make sure there's gas, like there's fuel, like we got snacks on board, you know, we got seat belts, like all these things um, are are part of making our journey successful uh, to that next destination. Um, okay. So yeah, so we were talking about, you know, the, the journey, like the visionary off to, or the, you know, CEO yes. of business is really setting the vision for, Hey, we're going this direction. And then your team's like, okay, now that I'm clear on the direction, what are all the tools that I need to make that yes. successful along yeah. the way? They're going to want to need to know if, you know, we didn't need to refuel somewhere, if we need to take mm-hmm. a left turn, a right turn, what speed, yeah. um, you know, do we need to mm-hmm. watch out for any road bumps, you know, along the way too? Another huge thing that motivated me to want to jump into the dashboard lane was attribution. So once your business is doing seven figures or multi seven figures or you're over 10 million, like attribution becomes a really big thing of like where the lead's coming from. And we do use a bunch of softwares that I don't want to go into, but like seeing it visually really motivated me as an entrepreneur to be like, oh, okay, I need to go all in in IG and I need to go all in in YouTube because this is where these leads are coming from. And that just was also super game changing of like where I should allocate my time. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's one of the first things that we love to do um, is figuring out like, where's, where's everybody coming from? Where are all the yeah, buyers coming from <laughs> the buyers, in, in the business? Um, because if, to your point, yeah, you might see a lot of volume in certain mm-hmm. or a lot of lead flow in certain areas, but until you can track, which one of the things I will give props to Hyros, like they are really good at being able to track a lot of information. Um, but I think b- being able to integrate that into dashboards really makes it much more visual and clear for team members to jump right. in on that yeah. as well. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And so, um, but yeah, that some this is a, just a great example of like a lot of times the software in your business is all you need to start putting it into a dashboard. Like you've already got the data mm. there. Mm. It's a matter yes. of pulling it into a way that's manageable for the team to make better decisions to grow. Yes. Love. One of the things that I love to do, Lane, is with my team meetings on Monday, open up the dashboard so we can all look at it together and see the different areas that each person is over and looking at and seeing them grow. That is a very exciting because I think sometimes we just like, we as people just want to see progress. Like, am I making progress? And for me, I have my sales goals there and like, you know, all. so it's like, it's like a scoreboard. You know what I mean? Like, like you're in sports. You're like, we're winning. Yes. <laughs> well, you just gamified your business <laughs> for yourself. I mean, I think I might be competing about ourselves, but like, but it, but you, this creates a great sense of progress and we're yeah. winning. We're going to What I like about it too, is like, I feel when you have metrics that people can own, but also are comfortable to share, if there mm-hmm. is a dip, it's not like, oh, I failed. It's like, oh, team. Mm-hmm. I have been trying this for a couple of weeks and did this isn't this, but it's not getting us to where we want to be. So how about we use this team meeting as an opportunity to really see what other ideas are possible? A hundred percent. 100 percent. Yeah, that that directly affected us, I think, for our last challenge. We saw that our numbers were weren't gonna be so we wouldn't hit our goal and then we revamped the plan in the meeting. So so, Ooh, so good. It is so powerful, by the way, for launches. I feel like that's yeah. um uh a key thing that's driving a lot of businesses these days. And if you're, you know, not on track on day one of promotions, Mm -hmm. like at what point do you start jumping in to make changes? And sometimes people aren't catching it early enough to really make those revamps. Love, love, love. So good. Loving it. hundred percent. I can see that that's happening for us right now in a great way. Like we're hitting our, we're hitting our numbers. So yeah, dashboards are fire. (laughs) <laughs> awesome so i'm curious eileen from your perspective then like what's been your biggest aha or takeaway um mm. from getting this implemented for you and your team yeah for sure i mean i know that you you taught me that a lot of people use dashboards for the money side and our money side is tracked a different way and we have accountants and all these different people because we handle a lot of wires however what the dashboard really helped me and the team was tracking 
leads. So leads, where are the leads coming from? <laughs> One. <laughs> and are we hitting like what we need kind of lead lead flow to conversion in order for us to hit the numbers we want on the back end? So while I I could see a lot of using the dashboard as a great like money tracking thing. And I, in the future, I think I want I, I want to I want to go more in that way. But right now for us, the team is just are we are we hitting the numbers we need on organic and paid traffic uh, for leads? So that so that's been very motivating for us. And we can see our social media numbers growing every day on all the platforms and yeah, where the leads are coming from. And then how many people are joining the list, how many people that are buying our low ticket products, which I know will result in a certain conversion for the back end sales, like the, all the financial people we have. So yeah, I think social media and leads has been. All right, Eileen. So I'm curious, like, how do you, like we talked about a little bit on the team meeting side of things, but are mm -hmm. there any other key ways that you're seeing that this is going to help your team be more successful in the long run too? It's going to improve communication or mm -hmm. any other ancillary things yeah. that may not be like, you know, yeah, for sure. One of the great takeaways that the team had when we were looking at our dashboard recently was how kind of like lower my podcast numbers were, but higher my Instagram was. And then most recently we're talking to clients. So it, it kind of showed us, hey, maybe let's not focus as much on this social media platform like podcast, but focus more on YouTube and Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's a really big takeaway. So for allocation of our resources, I have lots of employees that help us on all these social media platforms. So it helped me show like where, where can I get the biggest bang for my buck? Um, especially with content and organic. Yeah. So, that's yeah. one thing I, I really liked about what you were focused on, you know, with this being more of a team dashboard and yes, you can have financial dashboards and ads based dashboards and things yes. like that. But for you, you were really looking for something that what's something my team can see and influence. Yes. Uh, so being yeah. able to focus on the organic side of things mm -hmm. um, to where they felt like they actually had some control and moving the mm. levers became really, really important. Um, and what I love too, is like when we did the initial review with the team, like they were coming up with more ideas too. Like, oh, yes. so hook up this software because right now I'm having to pop yes. in. This yeah, 100%. Sheet. They were like, yeah, like, can we hook up like a texting software to this so we can see if it'll improve our show up rates at our launches and challenges and events. And I was like, that's genius. So mm. yeah, it's just awesome. I, I don't know how lane people, I don't know, do stuff without this, you know, like the visual representation is so good for mm. us and the team. Awesome. Yeah. I think the, I think, I mean, and technically like you can do it manually and over a longer amount of time, but why, <laughs> why do it when you can just automate it? Right. <laughs> I was just in a mastermind lane and, a, and some of the people were getting up and one of their biggest asks were, does anybody know of like a way that I can look at data, like a dashboard? That's what they said. And I was like, Yes, I do. <laughs> Lane Booth. So yeah, I think that's, it's a really big need for entrepreneurs, especially if they're multi-six figures, seven figures, multi-seven figures. It's so cool. Yeah. Well, that leads into my next question for you, which is <laughs> like, what kind of businesses or, you know, who, what other, um, you know, companies do you feel like could benefit from mm. having data dashboards in their, in their business? Yeah. I mean, I, I know it sounds very general, but I can't I can't imagine any business that wouldn't benefit from it. You think about brick and mortar or e-com or info or, you know, coaching consulting. Like we all have leads, we all have customers, we all are ascending people, we all need help with attribution, we all need help staying motivated. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, to maybe I'll speak to business owners watching this that may be a little scared of like tracking or numbers or spreadsheets or data. And I just, if, if you work with Lane and her team, they make it really easy that you guys did all the work for us showed up and there's this gorgeous pie charts, you know, graphs, like here's the target. This is like, we're almost at goal. Like it was so cool and so clear and so clean. It makes you want to like log in all the time. Cause it's giving me this dopamine hit. Like we're making, we're hitting it. We're like, we're going like it's, it's working, you know? So yeah. So I just say any business that wants to have a great flight dashboard to show you where your plane is going yes. <laughs> um, and the whole team, uh, it will be, it's a very motivating and encouraging 
tool for the business, for the whole team. Awesome. Anything else you might say to people that, um, you know, have, have software and maybe they're still tracking mm-hmm. it mainly in spreadsheets. Like what would you say to those yeah. folks that were like, well, I have, I have people that can do that for me. It may not be automated, but it mm-hmm. works. Right. I think you'd be surprised at how quick and easy it is for Lane and her team to do like all their super ninja sauce stuff and just do it all for you. And it just be in one interface where you can see, we see everything in our business in one dashboard and the surprising ROI that you'll feel from that, both in you going to hit your goals, but also seeing where waste may be happening uh, and redeployment of the team. So I I think the ROI, you'll, you'll immediately see the ROI once you see the dashboard and if you are tracking it other ways, like maybe, okay, I think we were too technically, but are you looking at it? You know what I mean? I think that's the other thing is like, is it actually exciting to look at? To me, I, there's like colors and I don't know, but the charts are really cool. See, So yeah, so I, I think it's just a, it's a fabulous asset. And I really am a believer now that I think every business needs one of these. I'm going to be recommending it to all my high level clients for sure. Like they if they want to grow and scale and they don't know their numbers, like it's not, I don't, that's not healthy. Yeah. That's, that's the part too, that I think is interesting. So I am going to recommend all of my high level clients to have a dashboard for sure, because I know they're going to make more sales. Their team is going to be healthier. They're going to be motivated and their team's going to be motivated to grow and scale predictably and with a lot of health by just looking um, at their numbers in a really fun way. So yeah, I'm going to recommend dashboards to everybody, everybody I know. (laughs) Uh, And so good. And that's like, that was one of the key motivators for me is like, I remember moving from corporate to the entrepreneur space, looking at the data. Cause like, I didn't know anything really about small business at the time. And that one of the first stats that popped up when I started researching small business is that 80% of them are failing. Wow. And I was like, nope, that's a number that needs to change. <laughs> like, <Ooh. let's> go. <laughs> wow. Great point. Yeah. So I think this has been so much fun. Thank you yes. so much for your insights. Um, one other quick question I did have for you was when, when you are also kind of a s- support person, cause I know you do some really cool, um, yes. uh, speaking, you know, mm-hmm. engagements with, with other high level clients, like, how is this going to help you? Like if they have a dashboard while you're mentoring and strategizing oh, with them? Yeah, for sure. So so one of the things that that we do is we'll help people fill a challenge. Let's say, let's say our VIP clients, we'll, we'll help them fill a challenge. And one of some of the biggest metrics that can indicate we're going to crush it in this challenge is how many tickets have they sold? Like how many people are coming to the challenge? You know, how's their show up rate? day one, day two, day three, day four. So what I really want to do is use these dashboards to indicate to our clients and their their whole team, this challenge is going to be a seven-figure or multi-seven-figure day. And we'll know that just from looking at the ticket sales and just from looking at the show-up rates. So this is going to be game-changing for them because how many of you guys would agree, like, if you knew you were going to do like a seven-figure day, you probably like, do them more often or, you know, be like, okay, if I, if I can hit the, this amount of ticket sales, I know I'm going to have a seven figure day or seven figure month, like whatever it is. So that would be incredibly motivating for our client, like insanely motivating the piece that would come over their hearts when they knew, oh, wow, like this is going to be a seven figure day. Let's go you know, so much more energizing, right? Like rather That's than- That was the first thing I was saying as someone else that also does speaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like when you know you're going to have a really full room and you have the expectations or the, you know, the indications that, hey, if I have this number of people showing up, there's like a really high chance that we're going to see six, seven figure days out of this. Like you are pumped, like ready to go day one, 100%. like different energy, which just almost ensures, you know, that yes. you see the outcome. That's such a great point, Lane. Like it's the energy because, you know, there's so much, there can be a lot of drama llama for us as entrepreneurs. And there's a lot of unknown. We don't know if like this is even working, you know, (laughs) but if I know 
our ticket sales are going to be hit a certain number. For instance, for us, it's like 200 tickets. When we'll know, we know we're seven, seven figure days. Like if I can get that, if I can get my clients to 200 tickets, the joy for them and their team is, is that's a big ROI. You know, they're going to make more sales. They're, they're happy. So <laughs> awesome. thank you, Lane, for dashboards. Yes. Oh, so fun. This has been such a fun conversation. Eileen, where can people go to learn more about you? Oh, yes. Guys, connect with me on Instagram and YouTube. Those are the best places you can check out content there. So my name, my handle is at Eileen Wild on Instagram or Eileen Wilder on YouTube. So thanks, Eileen. Appreciate you. Yay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you got a ton of value out of today's interview. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about adding dashboards to your suite of services, be sure to hang out with me over at lanebooth.com and I will see you over there. All right. Take mm -hmm. care. Bye-bye.